three. Take two. Three, we did one in the morning. Oh, did you actually press record? Yeah. Hello, I am Fraser2198. And I'm Sam Eason TV. And welcome to another episode of Anime Trail. If you don't know what Anime Trail is, you should know already, but if you don't, there's a link in the description below to a video that explains all. I got to watch uh, a film called Summer Wars. Now, uh, what did you get to watch? I had to watch Code Geass Akito the Exile number one. Just movie one. Well, movie one. Then. Out of the four installments that's coming out later. Alright, you get to go first. Can you uh, just give a thought synopsis? Okay. Akito the Exile movie one is the first cash grab from Studio Sunrise in the first... Fuck. <laughs> Akito the Exile is the first cash grab from Studio Sunrise. I see we're doing this, okay? I am. That's fine, just keep going. Cash is in on the cold Gias things. Franchise, <laughs> keep going. Franchise. Uh, so the story is, there's a guy called Akito who is Japanese, and he ends up working for the Europeans. Yep. Which, I, know, I forget, do they work with the Britannians? They don't, do they? No, they don't. It's, it's, it's Britannia, Kazakhstan, Britannia, Kazakhstan. I'm joking. No, it's, uh, if you ever watch The Abridged, it's really funny. You should go check it out. Um, no, it's, uh, the, I think there are three major forces they said. It was Britannia, it was the Europeans, and then it was the Chinese Federation. Okay. I always get confused because when I think Britannia, I also think Europe as well. No, no, no. Europe was... Um, yeah, I know. Yeah. So he ends up working for the Europeans. Yep. And he's a guard for... Is it Lila? Layla? Yeah, Layla. 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 Okay, Layla. La Layla, Layla, whatever. Yeah. And there's basically a plot from a, a very small Japanese terrorist group to kill her. Yeah, because she's like, I think, like a minister of defense or something like yeah. that. She's really, she's really uh, uh, up there in the... Uh, uh, power scale. And then stuff happens and it ends. <laughs> okay, well, don't, no, no, don't say it like that. Just... <laughs> well, I might not spoil it because this is not incredibly recent, but I'm assuming a lot of people haven't seen it. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, that's that's a fair assumption to make. So, if, if you like Code Geass, you'll probably like this. Are you not going to give any other? Come on, I'm going to. Oh, that all right, that's okay, that's... Patient, uh -huh. patience, young one. <laughs> Go for it, then. Uh, I'll start for the animation because that's the first thing I noticed. I think it is better than the show. Mm -hmm. However, I really like the Nightmare Friends on that. Well, they're not Nightmare they were Friends. CGI, then. weren't they? Didn't blend very well. In it my was opinion. really good. I, I'm not gonna lie. What they what they what they did is like you have. Well, this is a movie too, but it's not much of a spoiler or anything. It's like you have the uh, Britannian Nightmare Friends, which look look normal, and then you have the, the European ones, and you think, surely the European ones should kick ass. But they don't. They See, don't. I like some of the designs for the European um, robots. They're really cool. But my only problem with them is that it, the CGI didn't blend very well. That's so Especially in the first fight you see them because it's all dark. Yeah. And it just looked too... I don't want to say glossy because that sounds weird, but they looked glossy. Right. Would you say, would you say if... The, if I, I, this is, this is going to sound stupid. Would you say if the whole entire movie was CGI, would it only then work? Or was uh, it... No, because then I'd probably hate all the animation in the film because... Are we, are we talking really good CGI? Really good CGI. Oh, in that case, yeah, probably blended well. Yeah. But... Because right. I've seen some CGI, like, at, like an anime, and it's... Ah, it's there. It's a really nice mecha scene. So you think it's just not, like, blended nice? Oh, that's a yeah, fair point the, to make. The animation's cause... better apart from the mechas. Would you say the mechas stand out in the entire anime? Because I think they do. Well, they stand out because they're easily noticeably CGI. Yeah, <laughs> let's just say that, yeah. But apart from that, I probably wouldn't have taken much notice of them. Okay, that's fine, yeah. Uh, as for the characters, Akito's fine. Yeah. Layla's fine. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> okay. That's, no idea who let, anyone else let's, was. Let's 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 get to it. Okay. Uh, wait. Are you? Can I can I rebuttal or are you still talking? You can rebuttal all you want. Okay. As let's... long as it's based off film one. Yeah, yeah. No going. Oh, he's good in film. Yeah. No. No. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Okay. Now uh, before I make a point, there are going to be four films. Now uh, the third film is. For some reason, being pulled back more and more. I have no idea why. Maybe it's because of the voice acting or the animation or something. I don't know. Well, animation always comes after voice acting, so it's most likely. Sometimes animation. they change. Sometimes they change it, whatever. But, so, um, because there's four films, there, there, there's more room for character development and all these things. And my point is that you can't have a whole bunch of just every like the whole everything coming in together. That's why, like. Films like Keren or Kyokai or Breakblade are really good because they don't introduce a, a lot all of the characters. They introduce some and they give them some backstories later on as we progress and whatnot. Some of the characters here, yeah, they really they really aren't that many good. I thought Akito was a really good character in this. Uh, I don't see him... I can't compare him to Lelouch because he's not a Lelouch. 
Uh, no, because Lelouch is... He's interesting. different. No, no, he's no, he's different. Like, like in Akito, this isn't really much of a spoiler, but you see him have, like, red eyes glowing, and you, and you instantly think, okay, well, he has... Oh, yeah. He has Gias on him. <laughs> Sorry. The, literally the most interesting... The, there were two scenes that actually stood out for me. One was when Akito... And this is the point where I decided I do like him, but not greatly. Yeah. Was when he was... In that party, and he was threatening. Yeah, threatening the like noble man. Layla's brother. Yeah. But he used like Japanese stereotypes to do it, which I quite liked. Okay. It's like all Japanese are good with swords. It's like, no, no, they're not. Mm. And then uh, the bit at the end where you see someone who has the same gears as Lelouch. Yeah. That was interesting, and those two seemed interesting. Yeah, exactly. But everything else just kind of blended into. Yeah. Nothingness. Yeah, it was. It was pretty much the the setup is. Akito like instantly made it. I thought the military scene was really strong, where they where they get a different because there's a military guy in charge, and he's an idiot. He's just blowing up the mecha suits, right? Like instantly, and then Layla comes oh, in. Yeah. Layla comes in, and she kind of like knocks some sense into him and shit. I thought that was a really strong scene. Yeah, that was good. Oh, and also the uh, the scene in the graveyard with the, like the memories he had of his former comrades. Yeah, that was that was that was pretty good. That was really good right there. But so yeah, it's it's movie one. You're not gonna be. Loving it. It's rated you know. like it's ranked seven hundred and eighty six. I can see why. However, I will say this now, and I know it's not pretty much a valid point, but I will say this now. If you if you're looking for like the original characters, you're not going to get any. Not in movie one. In movie two, yes. This is why movie two is considered by a lot of fans to be better because we get to see Lelouch and Suzaku and stuff. But yeah, that's why. That's why people like movie two. It, it's definitely a film for the fans. But yeah, I, I can't see anyone who doesn't like Code Gears watching this and then liking it. I would sum it up like this. It's like the rebuilds for Evangelion just better because they're not taking... Because they're not they're not, they're not redoing the story entirely. It actually makes logical sense because if you haven't watched Code Gears, then you, you've pre we're pretty much spoiling the uh, the series for you. But... Uh, nah, why are you going to do that? No, no, no. no. I'll, I'll put up a, like, a spoiler dis dis oh, okay. dis disclaimer and you guys can just click like a, a link... Or something on the screen that skips it, but okay. Spoiler in T minus three, two, one. Okay, when Lelouch uh, spends a year being uh, having his gear on and with the memories wiped out, it actually makes sense to to see what what happened within that year. It's just something for the fans, really. Hello, yeah. you probably clicked the link that uh, skipped your spoiler. Good on you if you haven't seen the series. You're gonna have to get to put that link in now, aren't you? Yep. Oh, that's gonna be good. All right, so yeah, it's pretty much a film for the fans. So uh, pass the film. Uh. I give it a pass if you're a fan of the show. Oh, that's fine. Or if you didn't like the show and you just want to see it anyway. Yeah, if you want to see it anyway. Alright, that's a nice one. Okay, now what I got to watch, I got to watch a movie called Summer Wars. Oh, as its Japanese name is called. <laughs> I can't pronounce that. Just a bunch of Japanese characters. Yeah. I'd like to point out the text. Characters. The text for uh, the, the title Summer Wars. It's really familiar to Sword Art Online, in my opinion, that the text in That's because it's Japanese. No, 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 I'm just, I'm not... Oh, you mean, you mean the actual, like, the, the font the, and the, the font color and the style and, style and the color, yeah. Oh, okay. Really yeah. similar to, to I that. I thought you were telling like, me. Like, I, like, I could see that anything else. Okay, so Summer Wars is basically uh, a guy named... Is it... It's Digimon. No, it's not Digimon! Uh, come on, what's the guy's name, the main character? Oh, how do I know this? I don't I'm so know. I'm so is it, is, it, is it Kenji? Is it Kenji? Might be Kenji. Yeah, it's Kenji. Yeah, it's Kenji. Okay, okay. Kenji. So, uh, Kenji, a character named... We are so professional. Mind you, I've, I just watched there, this film. There's like 20 characters. There's there, a lot of characters. characters. So there's a main character called Kenji, right? And uh, he's walking with his friend in this ICT room, and there's a program called... Wasn't it Love Machine? No, shut up! No, that wasn't it. It was, it was, it was a different program. Oh, oh you mean the non-virus? Yeah. Oh. Oh, fuck knows. Okay, well... Oh, 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 oh. Cloud app. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. I'll remember it when you say it. Uh, I'm gonna hate this. It doesn't matter. It doesn't no, it does. Uh, Oz. It's Oz. It's Oz. 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 Okay, okay, three, two, one. Okay, so there's a program called Oz, which pretty much just uh, manages the entirety of like businesses around Japan and even the world and stuff, and it's like a way that people live by. And it's, and again, Really stupid on how people can trust it, but who cares? Anyways, it, it looks like a mix between the um, uh, the Wii U hub world, yeah, and just 
the internet. Mainly the internet, pretty much, yeah. So anyways, it's a new source of, like, internet and stuff. So that happens, and one of the, the main character named Kenji, he gets this job by this chick who's voiced by Bruno Palencia, that's all I know, really. Uh, she goes, okay, I got a job for you. So he goes to this, like, kind of, no, not a small village, but this really big, nice house that's uh, inland and everything, and the job is to be her boyfriend, no, not boyfriend, fiancé, even. Jesus, that's a step up. And he, and he goes along with it, you know, feeling hesitant and stuff, and pretty much the main theme of this show, uh, show, not show, movie, uh, which is what Gigok said, and I'm gonna quote it again because he's right, it's, it's family, okay? It's pretty much just mm. uh, how, like, strong families are and like, what to do in a time of crisis. It's just family, and that's really nice to see. Now, uh, let's, that's pretty much the story. Now, let's go for some good points. Some good points, love the animation. Uh, I thought it was really good, especially when... Oh, the... yeah, I really like this director, actually. Yeah, it's... Expe it's like his when... name, I don't know. Yeah. He's the guy that did um, Wolf's Children. Wolf's Children. Oh, that's nice. Anyway, so the animation is, uh, is really good. I'm uh, not sure about the live, like, the, the real-world animation, but, like, the like the Oz animation, when they were in Oz, I thought that was really nice. It looked better than... Oh, yeah. Like, the... Uh, that's just my Better opinion. than the ending of Digimon. We'll get to it. Okay, yeah, it's very... Uh, Similar to Digimon in the aspect of the whole cyber world. In terms of story, yeah, but only for the first part. Again, this is like the English dub. This of the director film. did also do the Digimon movie, though. That makes sense. Stick to something that you're good at, but make it better. <laughs> so, yeah, this happens. And, um, it's. it's uh, some good points. Animation's good. The characters are really lovely. You get a whole wide range of characters, although you may. Actually, I've never, I've never, I even though I don't know the names of them, I don't, I haven't forgotten what they do and how they act, because hmm. they're really strong and uh, strong on screen. Uh, there's a lot, there's fairly a lot of characters because it's a really big family, and you could say the villain, is, the villain is pretty much a virus, like in the Digimon film, anyway. It's called machine. the Love Machine, which is which is a song. Yeah, uh, I would say that uh, there's only there was a hateable character, and that was. Um, Wabiske, I know it because it's a. It's you remember the, that name? I remember the name because it's the name of a sword in Bleach. I was like, oh wow. Yeah, and, hey, you can make two and two, whatever. Was that the uh, the uncle? Yeah, the uncle guy. Okay. He's like, you could. You, you, st you dislike him in the beginning and you think, oh, he's an ass. But then you kind of feel for the guy and you're like, oh, well, he didn't really do that much. Bad. Yeah, he's he, still bad, he but redeemed you know. Himself, he redeemed himself. himself. Yeah, he had a nice redemption right there. And uh, the story, story's predictable. I. A really good story, but it's predictable, and you could say there's something to a lot of other things. Well, yeah. Especially when they go, oh, who created the love machine? Like, when they said the, the love machine virus was created in America, my first thought was, well, the uncle lived in America, so maybe he did it. And yeah, I was right. So that made sense. Uh, it's logical in its way, it's great pacing, and it has a lovely ending, kind of. <laughs> I'd say it's a lovely ending, maybe. I don't remember the ending. Uh, right. I remember the uh, the sad point. Yeah, that I actually found sad for some reason. Yeah, there's there's a sad point. I was like, mm. it's it's nothing like Grave of the Fireflies kind of sad, no. but it is. But it's it's fairly good. Like, I I knew with the sad point. I knew that was going to happen. Yeah, but you I knew... definitely didn't want it to happen. Yeah, I know. Sh I know. Yeah, that's true. That's Don't spoil this in case. No, I'm not going to spoil that. That was that was a great. That was a really good moment right there. All right, so time of judgment, pass or fail? I give it a extreme pass like I can't really give it any much higher I mean if you're looking for other recommendations I recommend Grave of the Fireflies because it's kind of similar or, actually it's very similar or any other work by this guy okay you can't say this guy okay you know what I don't know his name you know okay you also did uh, Girl Who Jumped Through Time Girl Who Leapt Through Time Girl Who Leapt Through Time, girl who jumped through time. yeah Girl Who Leapt Through Time we'll, we'll talk about that later uh, anyway so we've got to love good stuff going on here now is the part of the show in which we give an anime to, uh, for uh, each other to watch, and uh, oh, we're yeah. gonna give a short uh, episode series. Uh, yeah. So I'm gonna give him uh, FLCL, other known, otherwise known as Fully Cooley, and okay. you're gonna give me uh, Rin? Batman Gotham Knights. You suck. Okay, yeah, I get to watch Batman Gotham Knights. A I'm not making you watch Rin. Even even though even though it's even though it's um, made by Japanese people, it's still Western. It, it is anime. It's still Western. It comes from Japan. It's just based off... Batman. Based off of a Western comic. Yeah, yeah, I get it, I get it, I get it. I get it. It's like the Iron Man shows. Yeah. Nobody likes it. It also takes place between Batman Begins and The Dark Knight, which makes no sense, really. 
I don't, I'm not even going to talk about the universes and comic books anymore. For me, they're all just one big universe that oh, expands. Oh, DC and Marvel? I don't care about the universes. You, you mean, really? It kind of helps to. No, I don't know. It doesn't. It's like, oh, that's cool. Does that He's mean in this when one. Uh, you watch the Justice League film or Batman vs. Superman as they're trying to I'm not it. going to care. Like, wait. Why is Ben Affleck Batman and not Joseph Gordon-Levitt? No, I'm not Spoilers going- Spoilers for The Dark Knight Rises, by the way. Joseph Gordon-Levitt isn't Batman. He might be Nightwing. Yeah, he's Nightwing. He's Robin. Get over that. Okay, so anyways, uh, it's been a good week. See you guys next time. Bye. Bye. You gotta stop talking about a western shit on a Japanese show, man. Well, I don't look like a complete weeb. You're more of a weeb than me. Welcome to...